Uh, a little bit about my background. I was a, a kid in the Bronx. I was a heroin addict, a criminal, and then I became a drug counselor for a little while. And then most of my loved ones died, and then I started doing stand-up. It's like everyone else's stories. Well, I wanted to commit suicide after a lot of uh, really tragic things in my life. And I met this guy named Tom Ryan, who was doing stand-up comedy. And he brought me to an open mic, and I told one joke. I got a big laugh. And then I didn't, I probably bombed after that for 15 minutes or whatever it was. And, uh, but I remembered that first laugh and thought, wow, I, this is great. And that changed my life. So I that, found something. that hooked you? Yeah, I got hooked. That first laugh was the greatest. All right, so it made sense. The first laugh made sense of all the shit I've been through. Yeah. It was like, I'm not psychotic. I'm not depressed. I'm a stand-up comedian. That's why I'm like this. Right. I was doing comedy, f I don't know. First, it takes five or six years to get onto a regular club in New York City. That, I'm, it took a long time. It was, you know, every rejection, crazy. But that's that's... You know, that's great. That's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. That's the way it was for me. I don't know how it's supposed to be for anybody. I auditioned for Last Comic Standing um, only because Greg Giraldo was hosting, and he's a good friend, and uh, I respect him. And I said, all right, maybe it'll be different this time. The show will be different. And I went and auditioned, and I, it did really well. And then I did really well the next time, and it just seemed like a good thing for me to do. So I did it and made it to the top five. It was great. Well, as soon as the uh, last Comic Standing tour ended, um, I decided what better way to get the taste of that out of my fans' <laughs> mouths than to talk about my heroin addiction on stage and so yeah I'm doing my one man show now which is just about all the dark stuff that I've experienced um, and yeah it's like a reaction to my experience with Last Comic Standing which was traveling the country talking to morons about stupid and unimportant garbage. Uh, I feel real good about doing the, the, the one man show because uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about real things that happened to me, real painful stuff, and getting laughs from it. That's the greatest feeling, to know that that wasn't funny before I got to it and turned it into funny. So that's a good feeling. Do I have anything upcoming? This isn't enough. Too. It's not enough what I'm doing. <laughs> a one-man show, developing a play to talk about uh, all the loss and grief I've experienced. Yeah, no, I'll do more stuff. Let me figure out some more things that I can do.